Nick, those are two 35s, 35 pounders. Ah, so I just did 10 70 pound two handed swings. Anyway, look at this. I'm a runner, I'm a biker, and after 15 seconds under the weights, I'm huffing and puffing like I just ran 10 miles. It's a beautiful thing. Strength, flexibility, and endurance. You saw the thumbnail. It's the only form of exercise that gives you all three in one exercise. Now, I started with the strength before I went, before I went to Maine. Okay, this we're gonna talk about flexibility. And this is a big one, man. Conventional weights don't do it for you. There's no other form of exercise that gives it to you. It's a properly property called proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. PNF to the max. The concept is all in there. I'm not going to get too deep into it. But basically, proprioceptive PNF means proper use of tension, proper use of tension to create strength flexibility and endurance in any in any muscle. For the life of me, I don't know why all trainers don't incorporate that one concept more. I've seen to be the only one that does. That's why I'm having astounding results with all my uh, with all my clients. All right? Now, here's the deal. Strength, flexibility, and endurance. The kettlebell swing, the two-handed swing, the king of all exercises. Every single muscle from my neck down, every single one of them, muscles in my fingers, every single muscle in my body has more strength, more flexibility, and more endurance than it did when I started that exercise. And as I said, no, no other form of exercise can do both things. Now, flexibility is the one that's most ignored. And this is the one that gets most athletes hurt. That and a uh, crappy inflammation diet, keto, whatever. That's what gets them hurt. Flames the joints, inflames the muscles, inflames the ligaments, tendons, the whole nine yards. Snap. Okay, but unless you finish your weight routine and then go to a yoga class, You've lost flexibility. You do that every day for 10 years. All of a sudden, you can't throw 100 miles an hour anymore. What is it? I'm getting old? No, you've lost flexibility. Lost range of motion in everything you do. Okay? Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. Now, the beauty of the kettlebell is, when we're talking about athletes, now, yoga is fine. Yoga is fine, but it doesn't promote strength as much as you need for an athlete. I call it wet noodle flexibility. We have, go down the ashram and get some yogi that can turn themselves into a pretzel. Can they run around a block? Can they lift a kettlebell? No, there's no strength. And on the other hand, you get some athlete, John Carlos Stanton, Aaron Judge, Mike Trout, all these roid heads. They're constantly, constantly hurt because there is no flexibility. You put the same guy, those three guys, put them on the kettlebells instead of the weights, they would have no, they would get more power, more flexibility, more range of motion, and more endurance, and never, never get hurt. No, I'm not talking about running into an outfield fence, or I'm not talking colliding with another athlete, or uh, you know, uh, turning your ankle over when you're reaching for a first base. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about running in the outfield and pulling a blame for no reason. No, you're doing that to yourself, kids, with your diet and your exercise. Now, look at these guys I'm talking about. These two guys I picked, Pavel, who is the king of kettlebells, and Steve Freeds, who is one of his henchmen. Now, Steve Freeds has an unbelievable story. If you want to go on his website, just Freeds, F-R-I-E-D-E-S, New Jersey Kettlebell, about how he rejuvenated his back. 
I mean, it's just incredible what he does. But both those guys are serious, serious deadlift champions. Pavel back in his day could pull 700 pounds. Steve Fries is a world champion in his weight class. Now he's in a 135 weight class. And he's pulling plus three bills. That is incredibly strong. Now look at the physique on them. They're not all roided up. They're not all beefed up like John Carlos Stanton, but they are stronger. Both of them are stronger than him and they can flop right down into a flat split. Guys, that is what you need as an athlete. That's what you need. Case closed. Right? Strength, flexibility. Tomorrow we'll talk about endurance. Guys, drink your juice. If you're not drinking juice, you're not living. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. And join me on the true power crusade. Meditation, clean diet, kettlebells. The world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. Love you all.